Well, first of all, he was an outstanding two-year-old. Um, I remember uh, watching his, uh, his races, particularly the Laurel Futurity. Steve Asmussen in those days, you know, was perhaps more of a two-year-old trainer. I mean, it's quite a while ago, but, but they, they would, you know, his two-year-olds would always win and start favorite and, and so on. And he sent a two-year-old out to, to Laurel, started heavy favorite, um, and Tappet just went by him like, like he was standing still. He wound up at Gainesway because, frankly, not that many other major farms were interested in him, to be perfectly honest. He, he, uh, he had, was a grade one winner, and he did win the, the Wood Memorial. Like, from memory, he started second favorite for the Kentucky Derby. It was a very sort of wet day, uh, probably the wettest derby I ever uh, uh, can remember. Uh, Smarty Jones won it quite, quite well, and Tappet ran out, you know, not a great race. I think he was 14th or, or thereabouts. He'd had um, lung trouble, lung infection, um, and he was off for uh, a, number of, a number of months after that. I was very interested in the horse. As I said, remember that two-year-old form. Um, and, and what excited me the most about him was, was his incredible pedigree. T Tappet was by an extremely good horse in pulpit, um, extremely talented racehorse, um, extremely well-bred horse, a a AP Indy out of a grade one winning Mr. Prospector Mare from, from a great family of goes going back to round table. So, so those, those were sort of the reasons why I, I really wanted to tap it. You know, great two-year-old, un unknown two-year-old, but, but you'd seen enough to know that he had a lot of tremendous talent and speed, you know, with, with a phenomenal pedigree, you know, very good looking horse. He was, I think, a $480,000 yearling one of the highest priced pulpits you know, of, of, his, of his generation. I think the majority of them have very good cardiovascular systems, um, particularly you know, over two tons. Um, they're able to, um, to carry their speed. Um, they're, they're, they're extremely competitive. They have super strides. They, they cover the ground you know, really well, particularly the, the good ones and they have this intense desire to win, bordering on, you know, a fanatical desire to win. I mean, they, they, the one, one trait that I've noticed that nearly all of them do is, is when, they, when they see the grandstand, when they come in a home stretch, they sort of look, look at the grandstand and nearly all of them turn, turn, turn right, then refocus on, on the, winning, the winning post uh, ahead of them. Um, they can be quite, Temperamental, often often are, and um, but but it's that strong, powerful, you know, will to win and and survive at all odds. Okay, my name is Pedro Venegas, and um, I'm the stallion manager here at Gainesway, and I've been working here for 11 years, a little bit over 11 years, um, and I'm working here with Tapit for uh, about eight years with him. In the morning we start, they go, they all go out to the paddocks at 6.30 in the morning. And then we clean the barns and then they come back at 11.30 in the morning too. And they stay up uh, all the way to the next day. And you know, after they, they come in, they, they get groomed, they get clean, they get ready for, uh, for somebody to come in if they want to come and look at them for shows and stuff. So he knows what, uh, what time he's supposed to come in and what time he's supposed to go out. Like in the mornings, if you wait a little longer, then, then uh, he's supposed to go out. When he's supposed to go out, he, he gets a little desperate and wants to go out <laughs> pretty fast. And the same when he's in the paddock, he just goes stands in the gate and wait for you over there to come and get him when the time is comes in. And I mean, he's, uh, he's 20, 20 years old, but he's still, Sometimes when he goes in the breeding shed, he thinks it's three. <laughs> there are some days he will push you all the way into the paddock and you know try to break away from you, but in some other days he just melt down. You know, it's, it's all it's always different on him. It's not the same all the time. And I mean, he as a stallion, he always tries to get you when whenever he gets a chance. But he's not mean. He's just you know playful.